East London. And as with all these types of constituencies, the Conservatives' not-so-secret weapon takes to the streets. One of the big issues on the doorstep here is immigration, and Boris Johnson is on record supporting a form of regularisation for illegal immigrants. In other words, an amnesty once certain conditions are met. And so, it turns out today, is the Conservative candidate here. How would you feel about an amnesty for illegal immigrants? Well, I mean, Boris and I are one on this. We, we kind of feel that the sensible thing to do uh, is... Oh, you agree, you agree on this? Oh, I believe so. We, we could talk about it afterwards. But I, mean, but I think Boris made it very clear that we need to be looking at what we can do for Londoners in terms of having an amnesty. Let's just pause there for a moment, because another reason why this is interesting is this is also the position of the Liberal Democrats, but not of the Conservative Party. The pri on the principle of an amnesty, you, you think it's a good idea. You think it's a good idea. I Nick Clegg thinks I the principle of amnesty is a good idea, no. but the leader of your party doesn't. Is that no. a fair assessment? I, I think the Liberal Is Democrats that a fair assessment? No, I, I don't think that's a fair assessment of where we've got to at all. I think right. On the single principle of an amnesty, down, you, Tim, typical, and typical Liberal Democrat, Balderdash. We all eventually stopped interrupting each other, and I made a few calls to find out what the position actually is. This is it. Tim Archer, the Conservative candidate here, supports a form of conditional regularisation or an amnesty. Boris Johnson, ditto. Nick Clegg and the Liberal Democrats, ditto. David Cameron doesn't. The Lib Dems are delighted. This tells us that Tory policy on immigration in London is all over the place. We have Boris Johnson, the mayor, speaking out uh, and putting forward what could be a partial solution to a really big problem in London and beyond. And we have David Cameron, who is uh, closing his eyes to, to the reality, sticking his hand in the sand and hoping the problem will go away. Later in the day, we got even more clarity from the political parties. A Conservative Party spokesperson said... The only party proposing an amnesty at this general election is the Liberal Democrats, and we oppose their plan wholeheartedly. The available evidence, such as from Spain and Italy, overwhelmingly demonstrates that amnesties encourage more people to come into this country as illegal immigrants. But didn't address why the mayor and one of their candidates disagrees with their leadership. Then the Labour Party sent us through a statement saying that an amnesty is the wrong thing to do. They said it sends the wrong sorts of signals. The Conservative Party have a problem in constituencies like this one because the issue of an amnesty plays well in some quarters here, particularly for local candidates trying to court the likes of the Bengali vote. For David Cameron, though, nationally it plays less well, with one eye on his core vote and the other on the likes of the Daily Mail. Tough talk on immigration is the order of the day. Porrick O'Brien, BBC London News. Our political editor, Tim Donovan, joins us. And uh, how difficult is this for the Conservatives? Well, the Conservatives say that Boris Johnson, as the mayor, uh, can take up positions, can be an independent...